Hello learner, welcome to the channel. This is Raj Gohil from Loomo's RK Lab, and today we are going to learn about Hadra and 3ds Max. This is an extended primitives component. We can create a lot of amazing things by just combining two different shapes with it. So let's get started. So for Hadra, we are going in extended primitives. And in extended primitive, this first component is Hadra. Click on Hadra. Hadra has family of five. The first object itself is tetra shape, which looks like this way. Basically, this one shape is made by combining two shapes. And that two shapes are the family parameters over here, which is P and Q. So combination of these four, we have tetra over here, first family member. You can give any values to it, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and it will change according. If it is in zero, then it is stable. After that, we have axis scaling for the same we have p q and r starting with q axis scaling it works this way then r this works this way we cannot work with p for a reason because there is no extra phase if you increase the value in family parameters if i increase p and if I increase Q in family parameters, I have one extra face over here. And that's P axis scaling like this. And this is how it works. Hadra is basically used in gaming softwares and all that things, but we can create a number of amazing things by using this, like hanging lamp, any table prop, any paper holder, lower lamp lot of things okay same way we have octa second shape but if you want the previous shape back all you need to do is type zero zero and family parameters and click on reset and access scaling once you are done with that these things are ready let's talk about the second shape that's octa basically there are combinations first is tetra again where all the sides are triangle and when i increase the value of q automatically p decreases and we have one q and the combination of this means if i assign zero in both i'll have combination and this is octa shape like this family parameters combinations and you have it if i increase q parameter it will be something like this r parameter it will be something like this okay now concentrate us on this point as soon as i increase the family parameter p i'll have one face q and i have another one this is our p axis scaling and it works this way that is how things work with Hadra again I'll type 0 0 okay. and I'll click on reset and then we have quads combination of hexagons and triangles if I increase the value of P I'll have only triangles as face if I increase the value of Q in PAM family parameters, I'll have only hexagons like this. So this is how it works. If I do axis scaling, then I'll have Q and R. If I do any changes in P and Q, I'll have P popping out. And we have more creative objects like this. All these segments work accordingly, whatever you do, like this. And this is how it 
works. Same way we have star 1 and star 2. All these shapes has their own speciality, has their own values and we can create n number of designs from the same. Now, if I add a particular value for this, okay, if I select let's say cos 0, 0 and then I'll click on reset for the same in axis scaling. Now I'll add particular value for this 0 0.8, 0.2, 112, 133, and 127. Lump sum. Not planned. I have something like this. We can do more creative things from this as well. We can use it for creating wall panels. Scale it flat and you have it this way. And then we'll go in left frame. We'll give it a copy. Copying it. We'll go and we'll give it a copy. instance format and ok select this one copying it in center like this proper and we have it okay. extend the copies adding the number as fine extend the copy again as 3 and ok with this, we have a nice wall panel design ready like this and we can use it in an interior scene or an exterior scene as well. So let's use this in an interior scene and see how things work. We have that design imported in this scene and we'll place it as wall panel in this. So let's see how it works. We'll assign a white glossy finish to it and we'll see how things work for the same. So I have created one material over here. All I need to do is assign this for the same. Going in top frame for accurate placement of it. This is how it works and we are placing it like this way. Placing it and we have copy the same thing over here as well instance format don't forget and we have it all over once we are done with the placement okay this is how it works let's go in camera and give it a test render and check how things work so going in camera and We'll check the render settings for the same. And we have our render settings over here. Okay, we'll keep it a test render so we'll not go too high. Only for checking how the output comes for the same. Use interactive render for the same so that we can do some changes if we want. Interactive render is very much helpful. Let's preview it and see how it looks like. Pretty decent. Let's freeze it up and do our final render.
here we have our render settings let's do the final render of it and see how it works minimum 2000 2000 by 1500 and we okay everything is set image filter you'll add cat room color mapping okay make it advanced Ingredients map and GI making it expert as well, making it very high. Light catch giving it a value of 1500 and in render elements adding denoids. Let's give it a quick render and check how it works. We'll wait for this render to happen. And this is how it looks like. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more. Thank you so much.